Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having an RU tier match against Sep or Gandhi from my Discord server. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. So we're using the same team as last video, but looking at Sep's team, he's got the Magmortar, which I think he's brought literally every time I've battled him. <laughs> um, he has the Meloetta, the Golisopod, which is kind of scary, honestly. Um, he has the Lucario, the Rhyperior, and a Feraligator, which is always pretty cool. Feraligator is one of my favorite starter Pokemon. But uh, this battle was uh, relatively interesting. There's a lot of really bad damage rolls, and uh, they all pretty much mattered. But it's whatever, it's Pokemon. But uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the battle nonetheless. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Scyther, as my opponent is going to lead off with Gandhi's Oven yet again, this damn Magmortar that he loves to bring against me for some reason. So before he was Assault Vest Magmortar, and I kind of felt like that's probably what he was rocking this time too, um, but we'll see here, that is not the case. So I knew that Magmortar usually carried the Thunderbolt, so I didn't want to bring in my Vaporeon, instead I decided to bring in my Nidoqueen, but on turn 2 he decides he's going to pop the Z-Crystal here. And uh, Inferno Overdrive, my damn Nido Queen, into the next galaxy. So that really sucks for me. I was, I would have been able to take like a Fire Blast or Flamethrower or whatever, but I'm not going to be able to take this <laughs> this uh, Z move here. So really sucks for me because now I'm losing a really solid special attacker on my team plus my Stealth Rocker. So that's definitely a problem for me. I was not expecting the Z Crystal on fucking turn two, <laughs> but uh, here I'm just going to have to work around this Magmortar somehow. And uh, the best thing on my team now to deal with it is my Vaporeon. He does pack the Thunderbolt, as we saw earlier. It is going to do some solid damage to me. But I'm just going to go for Scald here. And uh, I should be able to win this 1v1 because I do have the Wish. And uh, he doesn't do that much damage with his uh, T-Bolt. It definitely does do a decent amount of chip damage, but it's not anything to worry about, really. So here, I'm just going to go for the Wish as he hits me with another T-Bolt. I can actually take like three T-Bolts or whatever, so I'm in a pretty good situation here, especially after Leftovers recovery and stuff. So here, I'm obviously going to go for the Protect as, for whatever reason, he actually decides to stay in. <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess maybe he was like trying to sack off his Magmortar. I would have personally probably kept it around, um, but it's whatever. So here, I'm just going to Protect to get all my HP back, om nom nom delicious, and uh, get some leftovers back and uh, I'm here or here I'm at a pretty good uh, amount of HP where I can take a, a Thunderbolt relatively well and uh, finally just kill this thing off with a damn Scald here on turn 6 so finally on turn 6 we're getting somewhere <laughs> um, after his uh, shenanigans on turn 2 with the Inferno Overdrive so down goes Magmortar thank god <laughs> and uh, yeah Vaporeon's definitely seen some better days I'm gonna have to uh, try to find some time to uh, heal this thing up a bit. So here my opponent's going to bring out his Meloetta and lately I've been seeing a lot of the pirouette form so I was kind of expecting that with like the the relic song or whatever but uh, he actually is going to Calm Mind so he's actually the more bulky Calm Mind variant uh, which I haven't seen lately so that's pretty cool to see and uh, I'm just going to bring out my Scyther here because basically even if he's not the pirouette form I can still kind of deal with this thing as he's going to hyper voice me here. Um, it's definitely going to hurt um, I don't have any special defense investment on the Scyther, I just have Eviolite and max HP, basically, so I'm just going to U-turn out, it is super effective, does a shit ton of damage, holy crap, and uh, I'm just going to bring out my uh, my Obama Snow here, so here I was kind of torn on do I Mega Evolve or not, because I do have the soundproof ability, but I decided, I actually calced it, and Ice Shard actually had a pretty decent chance to kill this thing from the range it's at, so I decided I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for Ice Shard, and uh, wouldn't you know it, my fucking luck, he actually lives on like fucking 1 HP and uh, he's going to be able to unfortunately kill me with the damn Focus Blast. It would have been incredible had he missed the damn Focus Blast, so that's just, <laughs> that's just the start guys. This is a recurring theme throughout this battle, the uh, 1 HP lives or whatever and uh, the hail is actually going to be able to kill him. So we actually have a double down here which is 
kind of interesting. I, 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 don't, I can't remember the last time that I saw Amon die to Hail, but anyway, he's got a pretty solid switch into the uh, Golisopod here, and I know he's going to first impression me. I'm going to bring out my Vaporeon, but I'm going to get the hell out of here because I know I'm more specially defensive <laughs> rather than physical, and uh, I definitely don't want to take that first impression on my Vaporeon. I'm going to bring in Scyther here because I know I resist it, plus I'm, I have pretty solid uh, defense investment plus max HP and Evil Light, so I do eat that relatively well. And uh, we're both going to take a round of hail damage. <laughs> Fucking hail makes the turns last forever, man. And uh, here he's actually going to go for the Aqua Jet, as I believe I was trying to go for a Roost. I actually live on 1 HP myself, so I'm giving him a taste of his own medicine here, and I am able to get off a solid Roost. So I'm going to be back up to around half, and uh, we're both going to take some more hail. I think the hail runs out, like, maybe next turn or something like that. But yeah, so... Here, I believe I'm just going to go for another Roost. I'm trying to ma make sure that my uh, Scyther is relatively healthy for his team. Scyther definitely helps me out a lot against his team. So he's actually going to go for the Liquidation. I think Liquidation has a like a 30% chance to lower attack or defense or something. But thankfully for me, he doesn't get it. And uh, <laughs> that would have really sucked, actually, had he gotten that. But here, I believe I'm just going to Acrobatics as... Oh, no. I think he... Maybe it's next turn. He's just going to Aqua Jet me. And, um, yeah, he... <laughs> yeah, okay, so here, I was going for Acrobatics, but his uh, Emergency Exit activated and swaps him out, which arguably was really good for him because he would have lost his Golisopod there. And uh, because of Emergency Exit, he's now able to conserve that... Uh, the fucking... What's it called? First Impression in the back. So I got to watch out for that still. Uh, that, that Golisopod's a pain in the ass. So he's going to bring out his Rhyperior now. I'm going to U-turn out because I don't want to take a Stone Edge or whatever. I'm actually going to bring out Vaporeon expecting to be able to live this Stone Edge. But unfortunately for me, uh, that is not the case. So Vaporeon, pretty much my only wall on this team other than... I guess you could consider the Scyther set to be a wall. But anyway, the main bulky mon on my team is now down. So I'm really behind this battle. And here I bring in Gardevoir because I calced it and once again Moonblast did have a pretty solid chance of killing him uh, from the range of HP he's at. But guess what guys? He lives on fucking 1 HP again. God damn it. And uh, he's going to be able to Stone Edge my Gardevoir and that's going to kill off Gardevoir. So <sighs> these, these fucking damage rolls really killed me this battle, man. <laughs> um, I think I had a chance to come back had that killed, but... Because of that, I'm just so behind this battle. I'm actually going to bring out my Zoroark here disguised as my Scyther and just low kick this uh, Rhyperior on out of here. So now he's going to bring out his Lucario. And uh, this was actually a choke on my part. I didn't know that low kick would have actually killed him. So I actually swap out into real Scyther. And uh, he's actually just going to kill me off here with a Thunder Punch. Or no, he doesn't kill me off. It takes two. Um, but he actually gets the Parahax, which had he not gotten that... Um, I, I might have been able to outspeed, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how fast Lucario is. Actually, no, he probably would have outsped me. I, I'm not even sure. I'll have to check. But yeah, he gets the Parahax. I was going for Roost there just to get my HP back, obviously, but that is not the case. He's able to kill off Scyther, and now my last mon is my Zoroark here. So Raditz comes out without his disguise. I'm actually going to low kick, and right here I see that low kick would have killed this thing, and I'm kicking myself. Because I didn't go for that, I could have had Scyther in the back, which definitely would have been a help. <laughs> but uh, here he's going to bring out his Golisopod, and my opponent makes a really weird play, almost a choke, really. Um, he actually doesn't go for the first impression, which obviously would have killed me. I'm able to go for a Sucker Punch here, and for whatever reason he goes for the Aqua Jet. I, I have no idea why my opponent did that, but uh, he's going to kill himself to his own life orb, which is going to make this a one-on-one. -on -one his last mon versus my last mon, but unfortunately for me, he has the Feraligator in the back, and uh, I can't do enough damage to him, so I'm just going to go for knockoff, just to knock off his life orb, and I don't know, had I gotten a crit, maybe, <laughs> maybe I could have brought it back, but unfortunately, he's going to be able to uh, kill me off with a waterfall. It would have been nice had he choked and gone for, like, Dragon Dance or whatever for some fucking reason, um, and then I could have, like, played the Sucker Punch game and tried to kill him like that, but yeah, it's whatever, so... My opponent made some questionable plays, but in the end, he got it, and uh, those damage rolls really kind of fucked me. But it's okay, it's all good, it's Pokemon. <laughs> you gotta 
kind of understand that shit's going to happen from time to time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless, and uh, Sep will definitely battle again sometime. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these RU battles. I'm going to get out of here, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching, and peace out.